absolute favorite part of the show, 106 in parking lot with your host, Pam. All right, so this week I've got some great, 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 great music for you. But if you could not tell already that this show is going to be about clarity, as you can see, my lifers at Taylor's Church, I'm about that life. Okay, I've been to maybe five currency concerts starting in like 2010. 2009. So, just me and Karen, me and Spinner go way, way back. I used to like Currency when he was with uh, Cash Money and them. And then he departed. I used to see him on like, you know, the little hood to hood type videos, DVDs that you would buy. Currency had his own. He was just talking about like I had to leave that deal and woo woo woo. But now I'm on my grind, on my hustle. And I'm out here and I'm just making it about the music. I'm just put out music, put out music, put out music. I'm going to tour off of it. And I'm just getting my own. Like, I've been around enough people. I learned enough. I think he was around uh, No Limit Soldiers in them, too, because he is from New Orleans. So I think he just soaked up enough game and was like, look, I done. Stand back, let me do it. Now, it might take longer. It might have to hustle a little harder, but I'm going to do it. It's going to be all me. I, whoo. And maybe it's because I'm, like, an L.A. girl, really an L.A. girl. Like, I'm from the hood kind of. I, there's just nothing I love more than hustling. There's somebody that's willing to just bet on themselves and go out there and get it so currency. Let's get into this topic. Currency gave us the Outrunners with him and Harry Fraud. Now, if you don't know about Harry Fraud, go Google him. Because I'm using up to Harry Fraud. Please. You freaking you. Hurt yourself. So, go check it out. It is called The Outrunners. It has nine songs. I like all of them. There are absolutely no skips. But like I said, as you can see by my work, I am biased. Okay, I love Currency. First, we got Offloading. Now, Currency is one of those rappers that just the bars and the vibe is so good that you cannot. So I have to share Currency's bars with you so you can understand my love and why I love these songs. So, my convertible top peel, my life's real. I could get you the details, but I don't squeal. Take whatever I want, nigga, I don't steal. If anybody could get though, the game was fair. Like, and then he goes over to what I think is like the chorus for the whole CD, because I heard him say it in several songs. He's like, I think it's the chorus for like the whole, or like the mood for the album, because he says it a lot of times. Keep the E in it. Chevy on switches. Baby, you smoking weed in it. Don't post me in pictures. Hit the switches on Chef Highway dissing. If you can keep it six, we can always kick it. Just player bars. Like, I like that. That is my... Why? That is my mood. That is who I am. Woo! That's fine. Then we got Cutlass Cathedral. I only play old music in my old car. Count new money in my old loss. Like, I want you to tell me who's rapping like this, who this week with this cool. 90s I Rock featuring with Khalifa. Another very smooth vibe with Khalifa singing. Like, he has been working on it. Like I said with the Janae review last week, Wiz been gone for a minute. But he's been cooking in that mansion. They've been bashing over there playing, and Wiz been getting in the gym, you know, getting fit. So he's not the skinniest person in America no more. But he's also been working on the music because his voice and his tone in this song is on. This ain't no black and yellow with Khalifa. So, check it out. 90s I Rock too. Then we got Golden Chrome. Golden Chrome is such a good song because, like, besides... L.A., because I'm an L.A. girl. I talked about it at length on the show. I don't know. Y'all probably thought you hearing it. But I love, 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 love me some New Orleans. Like, if I had to live in another city in America that wasn't like L.A. or New York, it would definitely be New Orleans. And, and Miami is up there, too, but it would definitely be New Orleans because I just like the people. I like the down-home type of vibe. I like the hospitality. I like the food, just everything. So this song is so New Orleans, and he's like, just talking about how they were just at parades and stuff and chilling with the family before the war closed. But the hook is the best part of the whole song. And I think this is a song that will age very well. And Currency will love to play the song later on in life. And so will his son. Because the hook is like, uh, when my son is full grown, may he ride on gold and chrome in a Chevy of his own. Just like his pop did before the world closed. Like, it's just a smooth, smooth song. So go listen to it. This whole, well, I feel like all Currency music, but this project specifically, this is driving music. Like, if you have a long trip, you got somewhere to go, just throw this song on, let the other Currency play, and you'll get there to be a smooth vibe. Uh, 
we got Mangello Red. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Featuring Rick Ross. Man. Currency gave a shout out to Rick Ross earlier in the project. Talking about he went to Rick Ross house and Rick Ross is so rich. He got cars by color in his garages and it inspired Currency to get back on his grind like harder than ever before. Because, you know, when you get a little money, you're not as, as thirsty as go out and get it as you was before. So, when you see somebody a little richer than you, that's elevated, it might make you be like, okay, I got a little something, like maybe I need to step it up too, like I got all this, but I can have more. So, Red Mangello, Rick Ross. Now, the Rick Ross is fire, but I gotta give you the currency bar, so that's what it's about. Jet life establishment, Rolexes lessons and whips, palace extravagant, we hustle for all of this. It ain't nothing to get up in the morning, lay out a fit, next season drip, sneak preview shit. Uh, shit you gotta pray to get, Esau! Please, 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 please. And I'm from the east side as well, so maybe that's why this just resonates so deeply with me. But currency, Riviera Beach featuring Conway the Machine is like a very cool chill song too, and it has this little sample that's like, if I want it and I get it and I don't get it or whatever, so that changed my mind. Like I just like it. I think it's a cool song. Seven CDs, more player songs. I, you know, as like a lady of a certain type of standard, I kind of, I like this song. Don't get me wrong. The bars is raw. The flow is raw. The beat raw. But it's just the story that I don't like. And I know it's because of my uh, position in life. He's like, met a girl at the sports bra, her, uh, at the sports bar, her uniform, booty shorts, and a sports bra. When she get off her shift, she's going to be in the, like, ugh. Ugh, 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 that's so nasty. You niggas love fucking help. That's so dirty. You met a girl at a restaurant and you're going to invite her to your house? Like, oh, oh. oh, currency. Do better. It's college girls and nice girls that work in offices and whatnot down in New Orleans. Now, I'm not saying that the girl at the sports bar is not a nice individual, but do you got to take her home? Like, oh. It's nasty. Like, ugh, maybe because I'm a girl, but no. No, no, no. Rise above. Seven C still a great song. Now, in the coop. In the coop is my absolute favorite song on this project, and it's because the song is fire, but also because it has the great Jim Jones on it. Now, my best friend, uh, since I was twelve years old, Landon introduced me to Dipset. Love Dipset. I mean, of course, everybody knew about Dipset. You all saying Hannah? Hey, hey, hey! Like everybody knew about that. Brandon introduced me to like. And Jim Jones, Jim Jones just has a different type of flow. I don't feel like people respect Jim Jones because he's on the show with Chrissy and all of that. And he did balling, so people feel like, I don't know, like he's a commercial rapper, but he's not. Jim Jones got flow. And on this song, if you want to test the validity of a Jim Jones rap skills, you need to go listen to In the Coop. Ride around in the coop with the beat on loop. Like, woo! Seven days without prayer, that's a weak ass week. Jim Jones. Jim Jones was like, oh, that's why we keep a fancy lord out of beat the charge. You can see the pain in my, like, oh, Jim Jones is it's so good. Please go listen to it right around in the coop with the beat on loop. Like, oh. I thank God for Jim Jones rapping. I thank God for Currency bringing him to this project. I thank God for Chrissy letting my pops go to the studio. I just can't count. And the coop, featuring Jim Jones. And then the last song on the project is Pounds of Paper. Great song. Pounds of Paper is just classic money talk, but in currency, like, chill, laid back sort of way. And it's just, I don't know, like I said, it's perfect writing music. It's perfect smoking music if you smoke. And just go listen to the Outrunners, Currency and Harry Fraud, right now. It will change your mood. If you're driving through it, it will change your drive. And like I said at length, that Jim Jones song, it will, it will puff life into you. So thank you. And, you know, Jess nigga will have me been in their life forever.